Hi guys, in this tutorial I will explain uh, a little bit uh, Carve Tools. Carve Tools is a set of tools you can use to modify your drawings, your 2D drawings you've uh, made with the tools I'm just uh, pointing right now. Uh, so let's start it. First tool uh, which is fillet carves. It's very easy and very uh, useful. You use, we've got a two carves, two lines actually. You can have two carves too. Let's do it and show it. And then you place a fillet between them. So let's have a look. Uh, between always you you have to read what your what the Rhino wants from you. So if you don't know what to do, go and see up here. So Rhino will tell you, select first carve to fill it. You have to select the first one. Select second carve to fill it. And you're selecting. And then the automatically the, the profile uh, of your fillet will came out. But you can change it by selecting, by pointing it. So you want to have a radius of your fillet, 10. And you want to join it we it has been joined and you want to trim it it, uh, it we, it's not joined you can join it they're going to be one piece so trim it it's going to all be the rest of the um, shape will be trimmed and thus uh, you don't have to do it because it create just a circle so let's do it first carve the second carve and we've got a 10 millimeters fillet and let's do the same a 10 I'm afraid will not fit here so in this case Rhino will not make anything so you have to do um, change the radius I will change for three so there is here we are here it is and in this case uh, you can make uh, two mistakes by doing fillet you can make it too big so it won't be anything it won't create anything or you can make too small so you're not able to see it so be careful and watch okay so now let's go back because we might need these curves uh, this is chamfer chamfer is a tool which creates straight line between two shapes so let's have a look let's go and have here yeah so we can specify this curve too so let's have a look so you wanna I wanna specify that I want a three millimeter millimeters here and one millimeter here to be cut. So let's do it. Three comma one. As you can see, distance has changed. So I'm now play direct placing the uh, uh, showing the curves between. I want to do a chamfer. This is quite interesting, nice tool, you can use it uh, very often. Um, so let's go and um, have a look in uh, another one. Let's fill the corners. Select port curve. Let's fill the corner. I fill at the corner I've created before, and now we can fill at the radius. It's here, and now look, we've got the same radius here, the same here. But I just, I've just extended the, the radius here to showing where I want to select. So this is quite a handful tool when you have a mm, multi-line uh, shape like this and want to create you want to create all of the fillets um, the same in a quick way. So let's do the radius. Sometimes if you create if you create not to a proper direction so it won't be create won't create anything so let's do it again a little bit smaller see quite easy and nice tool another tool is a stable carve blend which is very good tool and i'll show you how it works i will use uh, that shape i have to explode it and then i want to delete the middle part and i want to move a little bit down so Let's do it right now. Adjustable carve blend. Uh, between carve blend is a kind of fillet, but fillet which will use 
uh, the um, mathematical continuity of the first and the second edge. You will see in a second. Let's do it. First uh, and second carve. And now the window, additional window came out, which asking you what kind of continuity you want to add. This is a little bit, little bit of advanced stuff, but you will see, um, uh, it will just touch it, we won't tell any, any more. So I'm used to tangency, because this is the easiest way, and then confirm. So as you can see, this is very nice and smooth shape between those two curves. Uh, so basically that's the very helpful tool I'm using it very often in my designing process so uh, remember about that tool um, basically I don't you not you don't need at this level much more tools I can show you uh, only one more which is quite uh, often used by me mm. So this is kind of, uh, this is match carve, uh, joining two points of carves by its ma their mathematical continuity as we did before. So this is first, uh, first end and the second end. And uh, Rhino will uh, count the mathematical data of it and ask me what kind of uh, curvature I want, continuity I want to use. So the same, I want to use tangency. And I want an average curve, which will take this, the both curve, the both shapes to be uh, uh, join, match together. If I will uh, untick it, so this is going to be only one curve match to to another one. And I want an average. So this is effect of my work. This is also very handful and very useful tool and uh, advanced mode of designing. Uh, another one which is interesting, this is the symmetry. You've got a shape like this, and now you want to make another one in a mirror. So look, I want a symmetry. Let's just make symmetry here. And this, the, the comment automatically generating the opposite mm, curve and making them smooth, which is very nice uh, tool when you when you're doing uh, like a symmetrical uh, concepts and this is something you've got also here and this is very uh, often in used uh, tool by me and by designers another one which is also very important for at this level is offset curve so offset is just to generating a uh, curve by distance you want it. I didn't specify any distance so I want to specify it here by pressing distance and then let's say let's say it would be 10 or 2 2 okay and then I want to have a uh, ask uh, Ryan asking me where I want to place it I can place it in outside or out inside but I can also play in both sides which will generate two curves one outside one inside this is very uh, helpful and very often using tool actually I should I should use tutorial only about very useful tool I'm using. So the rest of them, the rest of the comments, I will explain during uh, my uh, the levels levels of my tutorials. So thank you for watching.